the more that I believe the community sees the drones and, and what they do and their capabilities, the more the community is apt to get behind the program. On the public side, I think the foundation of any public safety UAS program is building public trust and legitimacy. And with that comes education, where people understand how we're actually using the aircraft. We're using these high-risk tactical incidents, operations dangerous to human lives, critical missing people, putting robots in dangerous situations to save human lives. So how we're using drones now primarily is a tactical deployment. Beyond that, we're kind of looking towards the future, wanting to do drone as first responder. What we've done thus far with that is we've picked three locations throughout the city, the first being the police department here, and we launched test flights of just putting a team on the roof, have a drone ready to deploy, and responding directly to calls for service, getting eyes on early, letting our officers in the field have access to that video, giving them the information so they can make better decisions when they arrive on scene. For us, partnering with companies who have already done this, who have the knowledge, have seen success stories, have seen non-successful stories and learn from those, reaching out to those companies like Airspace Link, that's gonna be very, very beneficial. Our city has partnered with Airspace Link as the airspace notification software that we are using, or our Lance provider. It's really convenient that they provide a mobile application as well. So whether we're pre-planning an operation in the station and we need to use the web portal, or we're out in the field responding to an active threat or an active emergency, we have the convenience of pulling up the web app, viewing the facility maps, and planning our operation with that information. I really feel like Airspace Link has done everything that they can to help streamline the process for public safety pilots, because when we're dispatched and when we're responding to an emergency, that's when seconds matter.